Hillary just gave college commencement speech and you won't believe what happened in the middle of it, we just can't seem to get rid of crooked Hillary Clinton and her merry men of thugs. The, not once, but twice failed presidential candidate struggled through a dud of a commencement speech at her alma mater, Wellesley College this Friday. Unbelievably Wellesley College had this criminal speak at their graduation commencement speech. But even though her speech wasn't very inspiring she managed to make waves. Not by what she said, but by the fact that she had one of her famous coughing fits while giving the speech. Keep in mind she is a professional speaker, coughing fits aren't what usually happens to a seasoned speaker such as crooked Hillary Clinton. A person who is used to charging enormous amounts of money to Wall Street companies to give a 45-minute speech knows how to avoid fits like this. Crooked Clinton started coughing seconds after she began speaking. The episode got worse to the point that it caused her face to turn red and her eyes to water worse than when she came to the realization that an outsider like Donald Trump had given her the shellacking of her life on the 2016 presidential election night. And no. This coughing fit didn't happen because she was thinking about her past sins. She went on to say we'll blame allergy instead of emotion. Not sure that's even possible since the only emotion this hack has is anger. Of course, after her coughing fit she just couldn't help herself and didn't waste any time in attacking President Donald Trump. On Friday, Hillary Clinton addressed the graduating class at her alma mater, Wellesley College. She used the opportunity to wade into current politics and direct a few jokes at President Trump. When people in power invent their own facts and attack those who question them, it can mark the beginning of the end of a free society, she said. That is not hyperbole, it is what authoritarian regimes throughout history have done. They attempt to control reality. She called Trump's new budget proposal an attack of unimaginable cruelty on the most vulnerable among us the youngest, the oldest, the poorest, and hard-working people who need a little help to gain or hang on to a decent, middle-class life. Let's call it what it is, it's a con. They don't even try to hide it, she said, referring to the Trump administration. She joked about her 1969 Wellesley class being furious after the election of Richard Nixon saying the class was angered over a man whose presidency would eventually end in disgrace with his impeachment for obstruction of justice. Nixon actually resigned before the House could vote on his impeachment. She continued, after firing the person running the investigation into him at the Department of Justice, an allusion to Trump's firing of FBI Director James Comey. We got through that tumultuous time, and once again, we began to thrive, she said. Clinton also spoke about fake news and theories perpetuated on social media, joking that some are even denying things we see with our own eyes, like the size of crowds. Clinton talked about her November Laos. You may have heard that things didn't go exactly as I planned. But you know what, I'm doing okay, she said. She talked about spending time with her family after the election, walking in the woods and organizing her closets and added, I won't lie, Chardonnay helped a little too. But what helped her most, she said, was remembering who I am, where I come from and what I believe. Don't be afraid of your ambition, of your dreams or even your anger, she continued. Those are powerful forces, but harness them to make a difference in the world. The Wellesley stage is a familiar one for her Clinton delivered the commencement address as a student and again 25 years ago. Clinton has made few public appearances since last November's crushing Laos mostly addressing groups that advocate for women and children. She has also been seen hiking, shopping at bookstores and doing other regular people things in her peaceful alternate universe, as the Huffington Post described it. The young activist was the first student to address the graduating class, and she used that speech to lean into politics of the day. She challenged Senator Edward Brooke, who spoke at the same event. He celebrated incremental progress and argued against protest as NPR's Tamara Keith reported. When it was Clinton's turn, she had libbied a response to Brooke, declaring that empathy was not enough in politics. Part of the problem with just empathy with professed goals is that empathy doesn't do us anything, she said. We've had lots of empathy, we've had lots of sympathy, but we feel that for too long our leaders have viewed politics as the art of the possible. The challenge now is to practice politics as the art of making what appears to be impossible possible she continued. Earlier this week, Clinton made similar comments blasting Trump's budget saying that it, along with efforts to repeal the Affordable Care Act, 
shows an unimaginable level of cruelty and lack of imagination and disdain for the struggles of millions of Americans. What does crooked Hillary Clinton know about justice or the struggles of Americans? She has done nothing to help anyone other than herself for the past 30 years of her political career. She touts the witch hunt against Richard Nixon while she herself was fired from the investigation team for being an unethical lying piece of political garbage. When you get fired from a position like that in the private arena you are done for, your career is over, you are lucky if you can even get a job in the fast food industry. But in politics, things work differently. There you are admired and raised to heroic status. To the point where even though your crimes are crystal clear people still look at you as some sort of god. Will this nation ever rid itself of the Clinton curse? Will we ever not see that name mentioned anywhere else other than in history books? The Clintons are like her piece for this country, every time you think they are gone for good, they just pop up again. Please share if you are sick of the Clintons and their corruption. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.